Hi, Dave from Buzzy here. Just a quick video to introduce a new scan for um, Screens and Actions feature that we released yesterday. So the first time you run the Buzzy plugin on a file and you've never marked anything up, we give you the option of running through the file automatically and Buzzy will scan it for your screens, trying to determine what your screens are and what navigation actions might be there. So if we hit this now, I've got the plugin open, there we go. So Buzzy's now run through, it's gone through this file and based on the prototype interactions that are defined in Figma, so the flow and how these navigation items work, it's determined which ones are screens, which of those frames are screens, what type of screen they are. So it's gone, it's noticed the flow starts there, so it's determined that's our start screen. Um, it's gone through, it's found the alert over here, It's figured that's been opened as an overlay, so it's marked it up as an overlay. You can change this if you want. Um, you can also choose to ignore it if a screen doesn't actually match what you've got in your app and you say, okay, I don't want to use that one as a screen, it's just there as something else. You can turn that off. Um, we'll leave that on for now. Then you just click apply and Buzzy's now gone through and in the plugin to notice, it's marked up our screens for us. Um, if you've got multiple flows, it'll also tell you to pick one as the home screen, as the start screen, and let you overwrite that if it's if you need to. But that's it. It's also gone through, you'll notice, and marked up all our navigation interactions and linked them to the correct screens. So if we go to publish now, normally you'd obviously go through and mark up the rest of your app with your forms and fields or whatever else may be part of your app but right now we can just go and convert now it's the first time we've run the plugin on this app design so i have to enter the file key when we publish there we go and this is now publishing our app based on these screens that it's discovered for us now one thing to note, by default these screens will publish in fixed layout mode, so they'll render at the exact screen size that they are in our app. So if we go preview that, here it is. Sorry, it opened off screen. So there's our start screen. We can click through, the navigation works, the back buttons work, overlays work as well, and the close actions, that's all been automatically marked up for us and all we had to do was publish. So that's it, it's hopefully a useful new feature, um, get you started quickly, and yeah, good luck with it. Thanks for watching, cheers.